Oh no, it's time to draw me, and all I have are bandages. Hello YouTube artists, and welcome back to yet another cartoon tutorial. Uh, today's lesson is on Peso the Penguin from the Octonauts. He is cool. Um, and, as you know, if you send in your request by just typing below in the comments, uh, what you want to have drawn, we'll put it into the bowl, we'll pick out the next name, and hopefully it's yours, and uh, we'll draw your characters. Okay, um, so let's get started with Peso. Go ahead and get your three P's out, your paper, your pencil, and your pen. Uh, hopefully you have an eraser as well. And uh, we will get started. Alright, so Peso, he is actually a lot easier kind of basic but he's cool and he is I think he's like actually one of my favorites of the Oxalot so let's get started and we're gonna start off with a nice big circle ah back to basics I love it. <laughs> all right once you have your circle um, we are going to enlist the help of the secret magic tea that's right the magic T, you just pop that magic T right in the middle of that circle. And now you know the magic T is going to tell us where everything goes in the face and it's going to be perfect and magical. Thus the name the magic T. Um, before we start putting in the eyes and everything, what we're going to do is we're going to go at the tippy top of the magic T and we're going to make a curved line. And we're going to make it go almost to the edge of your circle. And we're going to do this on both sides of the magic T, or both sides of the circle. Once we get to those points, remember, don't touch the edge of the circle. Stop before you get there. And we're just going to bring this down. It's going to kind of follow the circle. And they're going to keep going, keep going, keep going until they meet the bottom. That is probably the hardest part of this whole drawing. So, I wanted to do it first, get it out of the way. And now we can have fun and just do the rest. <laughs> okay, we're going to take each side of the magic T. Draw a nice big circle. Ah, a nice big circle. Ah, easy, easy, easy stuff. Um, inside those circles, you're going to draw a small circle, a little bit to the top of the circle, of the bigger circle. All right. Right in the center of the magic T, where both lines meet, we're going to draw our little peso beak. Okay, and he doesn't actually have a mouth. The beak is his mouth, really. So, looks a little bit high to me, though. What do you guys think? Does that look a little high? Okay, so that's why we use pencil. Because as artists, we can always make changes. So, let's not put it right on the center. Let's go down a little bit below the middle. We'll make his beak down there. It's like, once I put it on there, it looked a little high. Yeah, that's better, right? All right, let's move on. We're going to go down. And a good way to do it is to measure, kind of go where his eyes are. Um, we're going to make a giant letter underneath his big, his big head. We're going to make the letter U. And if you haven't done any of the Octonauts, before with us, um, we all do the U body on these Octonaut characters. Okay, using that magic T, let me extend it down a little bit, we're going to make a little triangle, just a little triangle, and then from the side of the bottom of each of that triangle, we're going to draw a, a slanted line that goes right back up. Two. It could go up to the corner if you want, but uh, 
um, goes up to the side of his body. Okay. Um, and they, and of course, on his collar, he's got those triangles. So I'm going to draw them first here, so I can just see what they look like. Um, what I'm doing is I'm basically drawing a triangle, three triangles in a row, like that. I don't know if you can see that. And then we're just mm -hmm. erasing the bottoms. So you've got three triangles going this way, another three triangles going the other way. And of course, after you got those triangles on there, you erase the side, the bottoms. So you've got a bunch of these little, bunch of little uh, triangles without bottoms right there. <laughs> and you're gonna erase the bottom of that triangle. Yay! It's tip Pace's collar. All right. Kind of from uh, not quite the center of his collar, just a little bit closer to his body. We're going to start and we're going to just make a curved line and go straight down. Curved line going straight down. Okay. He's coming along here. Let's give him his hat. Peso's got to have a hat. Now, unlike the other Octonauts, Peso's hat is a little bit crooked. It's part of his character. He's very cool. So we're going to take that magic tee, extend it all the way up, and we're going to draw a slanty, slight slanty line. Kind of looks like a little hair growing out of his head, huh? <laughs> and then right over here, closer to his... Yikes. <laughs> uh, there we go. I made his hat a little big. Uh, another slanty line. And then we're just going to make a small curve line, kind of like a flat rainbow that connects the two slanty lines we made. Of course, on the top of this, we like to put a nice big curve line. And then we have in his hat, on, the, on this hat here, we have two long parallel lines. That's right, parallel lines. Lines that go, that follow the same path, and, uh, but don't touch each other. And then up here we got the octonaut symbol. And you know, I just cheat it. I just do a circle and a little circle inside of there. For those that want to draw the octonaut symbol, we will draw it at the end of the tutorial. But it's really complicated. <laughs> at least for these drawings that we're doing here. But if you want to do it, that's, that's totally cool. All right, um, going from the corner from where his body starts and his head ends, we're going to draw, basically, a fish hook and another fish hook. And of course, these are going to be his flippers. And so we're going to go right back up to his body. Oops. And you want to make him look kind of flipperish. And we're going to do something a little bit different with his feet, because his feet are really easy. And so what I wanted to do is we're going to, first we're going to draw the first one. And we're going to do a slanty line that goes out that way. And another slanty line. So two slanty lines. Kind of looks like the two sticks going into his body there. Um, and then we're going to connect them with a curved line. You're probably thinking, where is he? What's he doing with this? And then we're gonna do another curve line like this. All right, all right. The drawing teacher has gone crazy. What is that? Well, I'll show you. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to draw. So I'm gonna draw big up here too. But basically, what I'm doing is we're gonna draw one U, two U's, three U's. Three big U's. So one U, two U, three U's. And this will look better on your drawings because you're using pencil. All right, and then once you have the three U's on there, we're just going to erase that line. What did we do? We made basically his toes. 
That's kind of cool, right? But we gotta have him running. So what we're gonna do on this side, I decided, was we're gonna do like a nice, a nice oval, and then a U shape next to that oval, and then another U shape, and then to connect them all from one, from the oval all the way to the U, we're gonna do a, just a flat, kind of a flat curve line. So draw it big. Oval. A U shape and another U shape. Okay, connect it all with a flat curved line. So now, if you look, it looks like he's running. It's like, wow, peso running. That's actually pretty awesome when he runs. Um, all right. Um, and then, I think, okay, so I mean, pretty much we've got peso. Um, but, of course, he's missing something that he has to have, and we're going to draw right over here a slanted rectangle over here by his flipper, and we're going to connect it with basically a big curved line, and then erase the curved line that goes through his flipper. So you want it to basically go through his flipper, the curved line. This is not really that great. Hey, I just, I just made a 3D suitcase here. Okay, so underneath that rectangle, do like a little smaller rectangle. I just did that on accident. That actually wasn't even part of my idea. Um, so that's what you're drawing, and then his flipper is gonna like, make sure that this curved line goes through his flipper. Um, and then I'll just draw this big. What we're going to do on this box is draw one circle and a smaller circle. I'm going to draw here, but it won't be as detailed. And then once you have one circle and a smaller circle inside, you're going to draw a U-shape on top and a U-shape on the bottom. And then you're going to draw one, two, three. Okay, basically a lot of dots. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. The number of dots actually isn't, actually doesn't really matter. You don't have to get the dot thing perfect <laughs> because, I mean, basically we're drawing his band-aid. And for those that know about Peso, the Octonaut logo is both on the band-aid and on his hat. So there's Peso. Um... <laughs> Go ahead and ink this in, but don't ink the magic tea. That is the artist's secret. We want everyone to think, wow, how do they know how to get everything all lined up so perfect every time? Uh, ink this in. Fill in his eyes, of course. Um... Basically, there's Peso. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready. Medic, medic. All right. So, uh, color this up. And if you haven't been to our Facebook page yet, go to it. Check it out. Take a picture of your artwork. Send it to us. Post it up. And uh, we wanted to show you off your artwork because you're the artist. You know, this is just this, this is a tutorial. No one cares about this. They want to see your artwork. So send it in. We want to put it up. Uh, let us know if we can put your name or age on there as well so we can tell a little bit about who the artist is. But if not, that's cool. We'll just post it up as it is. Um, comments below, what are those? That's where you can talk about uh, what you thought about the video, right? But you can request the next character that I'm going to draw. You tell me what you want me to draw. I am your humble servant. <laughs> sort of. Um, all right, so these are the requests from previous comments. So I'm going to pull one out. And this is one we already did. So it was Scooby-Doo. We did that last week. All right, let's try again. All right, it's a big one. This is Una from Puffin Rock. Una from Puffin Rock. Hey, I think I know who that is. It's that cute cartoon on Netflix. At least that's where I watch it. 
All right, so next week, Una from Puff and Rock, and uh, we'll see you then. Keep on drawing. The more you do, the better you get. Take care.